Karen Kane, our guest. She is the artistic director of the National Ballet of Canada, a company that is made up of how many dancers? 58 and 10 apprentices. The apprentices aren't with us, but that's the okay. size. Okay, and of when the you apprentice for the National Ballet of Canada, what do you do? Well, they do a lot of our outreach activities. So mm. they dance all over Ontario and uh, they do performances for children and they help us spread the word about ballet and right. how wonderful it is. Um, when we do our huge productions like Sleeping Beauty and Swan Lake and things like that, Nutcracker, they are part of, they join in the company, they're part of the Corps de Ballet. And you have your own orchestra, right? We have our own orchestra. Not yes. with you. Not with us this time, but we have our own orchestra. Because now. many, I haven't seen any of these, but it seems to me that they're a little edgier, a little electronic perhaps. That's right. Very modern. That's right. New. So, so the score for Second Detail and uh, Crystal Pites Emergence are both written for electronic scores. And Owen Belton wrote the score for um, Emergence. He's a local... Uh, composer here mm -hmm. and when we did emergence which is an extraordinary piece about um, about the insect world uh, oh you have some it yes yeah. um, it's oh it's very dark and sinister and mm -hmm. sexy and wonderful um, and it, it's quite a moving piece and um, Owen Belton won uh, a door award a Toronto theater award for his score this ballet won best production of the year uh, won um, Best Choreography for Crystal Pite, who is here from Vancouver. And uh, I mean, we just we, we had a sweep of winning everything for this work. So I'm very proud to bring it to Vancouver, where she is from. And uh, as you're watching this, are, do you think, as somebody who knows what's going on, yeah. <laughs> that you, you, in the audience you have to say, gee, is that a fly or, <laughs> no. or a butterfly or <laughs> no, a praying it, mantis, no. or, or do you just get lost in it? Well, the, there's an atmosphere that is creative yeah. from the very beginning where you actually see what looks like a small insect emerging from, like, like maybe a butterfly coming out of a, right. a cocoon or something. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all the imagery. It's still beautiful dancers creating it, but it's insect imagery, more like bees possibly. Um, the lighting's extraordinary. Um, the movement looks sometimes like grasshoppers, sometimes. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's right. just imagery, uh, like, like sculpture. Um, and the music creates this I incredible atmosphere. It's really a great score. Hence why, why it is called Emergence. Emergence, yes. And uh, because some people are a little afraid to go to the ballet. Well, this is not you your know, typical You know, because your program's idea. upside down and you, <laughs> you can't quite figure it out. And you have no idea uh, what a pas de deux is. Well, you know what? You don't have to understand mm. any of that. You don't. I mean, these works just say everything that you need to know just by watching them. Mm. You don't have to read your program. You don't have to know anything about them. You just have to sit there and let it wash sure. over you. Or get lost in the music, the Chopin. Yes. Oh, there's beautiful Chopin. In and which one? In other dances, choreographed by Jerome Robbins, probably the most famous name to people, mm. West Side Story, mm -hmm. things like that. They're doing an opera. Yes. A West Side Story opera. Yes. 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 Well, Jerome Robbins is one of the most famous choreographers of the 20th century, and this beautiful little pas de deux he created for Baryshnikov and Makarova. And we have um, our beautiful ballerina, Greta Hodgkinson, who's celebrating her 20th anniversary with the National Ballet of Canada, partnered by Zdenek Konvalina, who's one of our principal dancers. And it's an, a beautiful classical piece. If people want a little taste of mm -hmm. ballet, this is the one that will give them that. That's great, because as you know, people who go to a lot of ballet, a lot of classic ballet, uh, would say, Ethel, I do not know what's going on. <laughs> What happened to Giselle? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no mm -hmm. Giselle here, but there's something for everyone. I bet. And it's a really exciting evening. Mm -hmm. We've just come from Calgary and Edmonton, and the audience was just thrilled with the performances, on their feet, screaming. So I, I really urge people to come out and see this great company. Uh, you can tell when an audience is thrilled, right? Well, you can tell when they're really into it because they're very quiet. You can feel the intensity of mm -hmm. their watching it. And then at the end, you feel their response. When you f don't feel a response, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but it's happened to almost every performer for some reason, just mm -hmm. a dead night. Uh -huh. uh, does it affect how you perform? Are you such a professional? 
professionals are on. professionals and they, mm -hmm. they do their job, but it's much more satisfying when you feel that you've broken through that wall mm -hmm. and that people are really involved in what you're presenting. Mm -hmm. It's much nicer for the artist to feel that excitement. Right, and actors will tell you if you can hear somebody crackling their paper or yeah. munching their popcorn, <laughs> things aren't going so well in the audience. Uh, uh, the Man in Black. Yes. Johnny Cash, yes. I hear the train are coming. Yes, well, mm -hmm. that one isn't in there. That, okay. that song isn't in there, but these are, um, it's a really poignant work. Very mm. dark, but very poignant. And the songs are from, they're covers from Johnny Cash's later years. So his voice sounds extremely mm. kind of old and tired in a good mm -hmm. way. Um, the dancers are in cowboy boots. The piece is short, but very, very, very poignant. Um, there's wonderful songs by Ian Tyson, who was with really? us in Calgary. For, Fabulous. For One of the great writers. Wins. Yes, it was and so great And his voice, to he's see having him. some trouble with his voice, oh, but well. nobody writes a cowboy song like Ian Tyson. No, and he was humming along in the audience. Was he? Yeah, <laughs> so really? sweet, yes. How great. Yes, and then mm -hmm. there's um, Bruce Springsteen's song. There's... Um, Gordon Lightfoot, if you could read my mind. Oh, really? It's so it's not all Johnny Cash music? No, it's just Johnny Cash singing other people's music. Okay. And yeah, they're not Johnny. It's Johnny not Cash. Not Johnny but songs. Not Johnny songs. Tyson no. and Lightfoot. Yes, Springsteen. Um, trying to remember. There's six songs, and they're mm. really wonderful songs, and they create this kind of, oh, uh, further on down, meet you further on down the road, uh, which is the saddest one, of course. Um, yes. And it, they, it creates this sort of lifespan of, of this person or these people sure. that you're watching. And uh, it's James Kadelka, another of our great uh -huh. Canadian choreographers, mm -hmm. created this. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there really is something for anyone to enjoy How in great. this program. Uh, uh, put something on the bar beside your elbow, <laughs> <laughs> like an old $10 bill or something like that. Uh -huh. Now, uh, your principal uh, dancer, your principal ballerina is uh, Sonia Rodriguez? Is that true? Uh, Sonia is one of our principal ballerinas. One of your principal ballerinas. And Greta I... Hodgkinson, uh, Heather Ogden, who's from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. We have uh, five uh, principal ballerinas. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, depending, yes. obviously. Yes. But one of them wrote T is for Tutu. That's Sonia Rodriguez, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she's married to Kurt Browning. That's it. Yes. I, it was somewhere yes. in the back of my foggy yes. mind. I was thinking, yeah. I know one of the principal dancers wrote a kid's book called She, she is for did. Tutu and she's married to Kurt Browning, That's of course. Right. Yes. So that'll be a bit of a power couple. Yeah, oh yeah, power couple for sure. <laughs> well, tell me about your other half. My other half? He's very well, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy getting his show together for Christmas, mm -hmm. which I think we've we've brought out to Vancouver a couple of times mm -hmm. in the past. The panto. The panto, yeah, the Canadianized version of a British panto. Right, yes. 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 Uh, how is it collaborating with him? Um, well, we don't really collaborate at all, at, at much. No, <laughs> <laughs> just have corn He does together. his thing. I do my thing. Yes, and and we catch up at the end of the mm -hmm. day and share. Yeah. How great! <laughs> How great! So, what next after our artistic director? Oh, my God. Ross Petty. Yes, Ross oh, Petty, so my husband, she, my she lovely husband. We know too much <laughs> together because uh, my my floor director said. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> now okay. we know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, after this, do you, have you got a plan or to the cottage? Oh, I haven't really uh, thought about it much. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just so involved and busy with this job and loving every minute of oh, it. I'm and sure. uh, we'll see what life brings. I don't know. But didn't you judge one of the uh, uh, dance competitions on reality TV? Uh, so you think you can dance? So you think you can dance? Yes, I've done a couple of guest spots really? on that. Yeah. What's that like? It was fun. It was mm -hmm. really fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of young people who are, I think, gaining an appreciation of the difficulties and the challenges and the demands mm -hmm. of being a dancer. Very much so. Did that. you uh, work with at all the, the late uh, David Y.H. Louis? I did. King I was very Louis. sad to hear. I'm mm -hmm. very sad to hear about that. I've known David for... Uh, you know, I don't know, 30 yeah. years. Well, me too, yeah. or did. Yeah. Uh, well, he was a big promoter of dance and especially fond of ballet. Yeah, he was a champion for the arts mm -hmm. and in, in this city, but for, for all of us. I know, I know my husband worked with him in the early years right. too. Yeah, wonderful man. You mean Ross Petty? Yeah, that, that guy. guy. 
Okay, well, Max Wyman, who's, you know, yes. a wonderful uh, uh, dance supporter and yes. writer, et cetera, et cetera, wrote a, a beautiful tribute to uh, David Louis in the paper. So I would like to see oh, that. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So the National Ballet of Canada's 60th anniversary tour, that long. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and there's a 2 p.m. on Sunday, and the performances on the weekend are at 8. Yes, at the Queen? The, the evenings. Oh, yes. Please come. Mm. We're really, it's a fantastic show. Well, nice to see you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Uh, Karen Kane. And coming up, Olympic gold medalist Ashley McIver is one of the celebrity designers for a Stuart Weitzman initiative to support ovarian cancer Canada. She's next. <laughs>